when you take that into a situation of the, the marketing and the messaging that we put out, it does, it's always kind of shocked me a little bit in our healthcare industry that we don't have more of a series as the patient leaves and the doctors do such a good job and they train their whole life to, to treat this situation that we send them out the door and we're kind of like, your hands are kind of washed of it in a way. Whereas with some of the new changes, you have to kind of follow back up with that patient and you have to kind of retouch it. Now, some campaigns in some cities are actually hiring like an EMT and they'll drive out to the person's house and they'll go check on them saying, hey, Mr. Jones, did you do this? Did you take your meds? Did you do that? It's very expensive, but they're doing it. They don't want to see them back yeah. in the ER. They don't want to see them back at the hospital. So that's my extreme case to say as healthcare professionals, I think we could do all a really, really good job. We got in this thing, but hey, y'all could work for insurance companies. You could work for all kinds of professionals. You're in an industry where you're helping people. And I think as an industry, we could do a much better job to say, you left the doctor, you spent the money, and you're here. Now you're going to go home. Can we get them a campaign that's 21 days of yeah. every couple of days to kind of re remind them why they left or what they did? Personalize a little bit with the doctor saying, hey, it's the doctors, like Tommy mentioned. Yeah. If the inbox, if you recognize it, you're probably going to open it. And if you open it, you probably can actually get the content to them. So when you take it and you kind of blow up the whole thing to how can I do this for all the different specialties and all the different um, people we see, it's overwhelming. And I, and I really do get that. But it's something that I think if we start and we start looking at different things and say, where are my readmission rates happening? Where are my biggest issues with people either not referring or stopping referring? Because what I saw in, in RevCycle is it's never a problem. Money is never a problem until it's a problem. We have these massive facilities, these beautiful glass and you get furniture and it's like so expensive. And we walk in as employees sometimes, look at it saying, there's no way this place will ever shut down. When I was working in Louisiana five, four years ago, I saw two huge not-for-profit hospitals shut down. I saw people that had to drive an hour and a half from one side of East Baton Rouge Paris all the way to the other side. And a contract was given to one facility when there was three in the area. So they had people going to the facility that said, no, we can't see you because you're on this form of Medicare. you got to go to the other facility. So the patient experience was terrible. So it wasn't a problem until money became a problem. And I say all this to say, none of this is going to be a problem for your facility until it becomes a problem. And when a doctor or an administrator walks in and says, hey, our admissions are low, our referrals are low, our you know, client intakes are low, you have to stop what you're doing on your day-to-day -day business, which can be overwhelming. Did any of your work in RevCycle also have to deal with that piece? So a lot of y'all are going to be liaison. So if you know that whole side of the world, if you've had to, you know, experience what they have to deal with, they have to report those numbers. Well, if they report low numbers, that's when they're going to start coming talking to people in y'all's position. And they say, hey. How come Dr. Jones stopped sending us 100 patients a month? So with all this to say is there's a really, really good way to set all this up in your infrastructure. And it's a way that you can build the reporting for your facility that says, this is the data that was coming to us. This is how we can track it. And just like we track money, we see money go up and we see money go down. When money goes down, we all start paying attention. So with your website traffic, your referral traffic, your interview referral for analytics, if you start seeing things trend in a big way that you don't like, it catches your attention. And then if you have analytics to dive into, Across multiple spectrums, you can build the dashboard to say, these are the main six points I need to look at. I don't know what those six points are for your facilities or for your doctor's offices, but they're, they're there. And y'all probably know what they are better than we do. So we'll do a quick recap.